Boldness in speech is to clearly speak a word openly. After Paul's conversion to Christianity and three years in the desert learning from Christ to serve as the steward of the dispensation of grace, he returned to Damascus speaking clearly and openly with boldness of speech, showing from Scripture that Jesus is the Messiah, Acts chapter 9, verse 27. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles, and he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached openly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. While Paul and Barnabas were in Antioch of Pisidia, sharing the gospel of the Christ in the synagogues, the Jews were filled with envy because of the great multitude of Gentiles following Paul. Therefore, they began to speak falsely against and oppose what Paul was saying. Their attempt to thwart the good news Paul declared to them only caused Paul and Barnabas to grow in the openness and clarity of their speech. Telling the Jews, since they do not desire to follow God and count themselves as unworthy to receive eternal life, they would turn to the Gentiles. Acts chapter 13, verse 46. Then Paul and Barnabas, speaking openly, said, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, behold, we turn to the Gentiles. In Ephesus, when Apollos, a man from Alexandria, spoke accurately concerning the things of the Lord, knowing only the immersion of John the Baptist, as he began to speak openly in the synagogues, Aquila and Priscilla heard him. They then took him aside and filled him in on all that had happened since the immersion of John, more accurately explaining him the way of God. Acts chapter 18, verse 26. So he began to speak openly in the synagogue. When Aquila and Priscilla heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. When defending himself against false charges from the Jews, before Festus and Agrippa. After Festus called him mad, Paul spoke freely to King Agrippa because Paul was convinced that the king already knew about this matter. Acts chapter 26 and verse 26. For the king before whom I also speak freely knows these things, for I am convinced that none of these things escape his attention, since this thing was not done in a corner. Because of his openness and clarity of words, Agrippa responded, saying, You almost persuade me to become a Christian. However, the matter at hand was if Paul was guilty. In response to Festus's inquiry, Agrippa states that there was nothing Paul did to deserve being in chains. However, due to the Jews working out a plan with the authorities to allow them to kill him, he had appealed to Caesar which was his right as a Roman. He therefore could not be released. Acts chapter 26 verse 32. Then Agrippa said to Festus, this man might have been set free if he had not appealed to Caesar. After going over the defense we have against Satan, Paul encourages the saints to worship God while supplicating for other saints, including himself, so that he has openness and transparency in speech to make known what is the mystery of the gospel. For he is an ambassador in chains. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 20. For which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Boldness in speech comes from confidence in what is spoken based upon its truthfulness. Paul knew that he was speaking the truth. Therefore, even when the Jews would speak against him and oppose what he was saying, or beat him for talking about the death for sins and resurrection of Christ. He grew in openness and clarity of his speech because his confidence was in God, not man.